Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a little different than other videos that I have done in the past, but it was a video that you guys requested a lot because in my room tour, I mentioned that sometimes I sleep in the same room as my mom and like this bed isn't actually the bed that I go to sleep in most nights and you guys requested the story time on it because I offered to do one. Sometimes I don't sleep in here, sometimes I sleep in my mom's room. Long story, I can do like a whole story time on that if you want me to. But yeah, I don't always sleep in here. Sometimes I sleep in the bed I have in my mom's room. And so I thought that I should sit down and film it. It is a story time on why I still sleep in my mom's room at 14 years old. I was kind of doubting whether or not I should make this video because I feel like it's embarrassing to people who don't know like why and who have never gotten to know me. But then I thought that since this channel is all about being real and I want to be as real as possible on my channel and I don't want to hide anything from you guys on this channel, I thought to myself that I should just film this because I don't know maybe there's some other people out there who can relate I just really hope that by watching this video you can sort of get to know me a little better and see that I want to be completely 100% real with you guys and not fake at all so that is why I am sharing this even though it's taken me a lot of guts because I feel like this is something that people could make fun of me for but I have to realize that anyone who makes fun of me for this is just not a good person and so I'm just gonna film this video and post it anyway before we get into the story time please like this video and comment down below why you're here like if you are a returning viewer on my channel or if you just like story times or if you looked up something about sharing a room with your mom or your family or something like that and also please subscribe to my youtube channel because i usually do content that isn't story times i do a lot of period related content and teen lifestyle videos and so subscribe if you want to see those and yeah i don't want to talk anymore i want to tell you why i still sleep in my mom's room at 14 years old so I do have my own room even though I still sleep in my mom's room because my family thought it was time for me to get like my own space Since I like became a teenager. I just feel like I needed my own space But yeah, the room I'm filming in right now is my room and this bed right here The bed that I'm sitting on to film this video is just a bed It's not the bed I sleep in if you've watched some of my other videos You have probably seen that when I'm doing like for example a morning routine or a day in my life Where I'm like showing myself waking up in the morning in a few of those videos I have shown myself waking up in a room that that isn't this room and I don't know if any of you guys noticed that but yeah the room I wake up in in those videos is my mom's room because I still sleep in her room my bed is in her room I've always had a very very close relationship with my mom which is probably why I have like so many Gilmore Girls posters I love the show Gilmore Girls I've always been really really close with my mom it was just me and her for a while actually because okay so if you didn't know right now I live with my mom my aunt my little brother and my puppy but it wasn't always that way until I was around like five years old it was just me and my mom in an apartment we used to live in together before she had my brother when I was five years old. My parents divorced when I was a baby. I've never lived with my dad and my aunt is also divorced so we decided to just all move in together like a funny TV show but that didn't happen until like after my brother was born. So it was just me and my mom for five years and even though we had a two-bedroom apartment I always slept in her room probably because my crib and like bassinet when I was a baby was in her room. I've just always been like super super close with her and so I guess I never really like grew out of sharing a room with her. I live in a three bedroom place and so my aunt has her own room and then I have this room to myself and then the biggest bedroom is my mom, me, and my little brother but it's like a really huge room. It's not just me, it's also my brother. Our family is just very close and I just wanted you to know that about me. It just always felt natural to me like I bet most of my viewers out there probably do not share a room with their parent but it's just always felt very very natural to me and it's something that I love but I'm also kind of like I don't want to say like annoyed about or like concerned about because that's not how I feel at all. I feel so safe like sleeping in the same room as my mom. I just love it so much. It's like comfort to me but I think it's gonna be something that's really hard because of course eventually when I'm I don't know an adult let's face it I'm obviously not gonna do this anymore and so like just this long attachment I feel like it's gonna make it really really hard for when the time comes to actually just have like my own space to sleep in and it's not like I've ever not tried sleeping in my own room. I've actually tried it multiple times. I've actually lived in this place that I'm living in now for like a year now now, that night, I was like, okay, I'm getting my own room. I was 13 then. I really wanted to and not sleep in the room with my mom anymore even though it was breaking my heart inside. And so I tried to sleep in this bed like and 
I just started to like cry and sob. Maybe I wouldn't be this way if I was in my own room starting out when I was younger, but it's just been so natural for both me and my mom. Like it's not just me pushing this, my mom also loves having me in the room. She loves just having me right there. We're really close as I said. It's just something that we've both grown accustomed to and so we were both really upset. It's not really a feeling I bet I can't explain to anyone else. It's just this like really abandoning feeling even though she's like right in the next room, right in the next bedroom. It's just like this weird feeling when I try that like makes me want to like rip out my heart because it hurts so bad. And I'm not saying at all like in any aspect of this video that you have to share a room to be close with someone. I'm just saying that's how it's been for me. I am so worried about the day when I go to college and I might get a dorm or something like that or the day when obviously I'm going to have to if I want to like get married which I of course want to do and like have kids and everything. The day I'm not going to share a room with my mom. It just makes me so sad. It's just been this way for my whole life and you have to know about me if like you want to hear about the real me. I am a very sentimental, very attached person and I cling on to routine. Even though a lot of the time I see myself as like someone who doesn't want to be stuck in a rut all the time, I cling to routine and I'm very attached and sentimental person to a lot of specific things. Right now I'm only 14 and one day I'll probably look back on this video and think to myself, oh my god, remember when I had sleep in my mom's room? But I honestly don't even see it as a bad thing. Like I feel like nowadays and like I know I could get made fun of for this and I'm really just putting my sensitive self out there but people are really trying to act like a lot older than they are nowadays. I have mixed feelings about this because sometimes I do like act older and I want to be like a teenager and have freedom and all of that but deep down I feel like when you're 14 you're really like still so young. You've barely lived on this earth for like a decade and while many families have their kids sleeping in separate rooms and that is totally great I just feel like I shouldn't feel ashamed for still sharing a room with my mom. I mean I don't know I feel like every part of the world now expects you to grow up so much faster than you actually should be and I think that's a horrible way to live your life constantly feeling like you have to be one step ahead. <laughs> My mom loves having me in the room with her. I love being in the room with her and with my little brother. Like honestly, when you have like a family and you've been sleeping in like a pack together for so long, it's so hard to break that tie. We don't share the same bed obviously, but just like being in a different room from her at night when I'm asleep, it just feels wrong to me. I don't know when I'm not going to share the room with her anymore, but I do know that when I do and it'll inevitably have to happen at some point, I know I'm gonna be really, really sad. And I know that she's gonna be really, really sad. But personally, like, for me, I think it's a good thing. There was this quote somewhere that said like, you should be lucky that when you lose something or like you lose just some attachment that you had that attachment in the first place and that's so true. I am so, so unbelievably grateful to have such a close bond with my mom because I know it's not an easy thing to get. I know a lot of people out there do not have such a close relationship with their moms. I just feel so lucky to be blessed with such an amazing mother and have such an amazing relationship with her and I do not see that as something that someone should be making fun of me for. If I feel that I still have to sleep in my mom's room to feel safe and secure and not sad at the mere age, honestly, of 14 years old, then I think that's okay. I just wanted to be really, really open about this. Just know that this is something that's really taking like a lot of guts for me to post because I feel like eventually people from my school might start watching my videos and just like people on the internet sometimes can be so... <laughs> I don't know, maybe some people out there can relate to this. Maybe I'm not the only one out there who still sleeps in the same room as my mom as a 14 year old. But even if I am, I don't think it's something that you should be making fun of me for. If someone is watching this and they think it's like ridiculous, to each their own, I'm not gonna judge your opinion on what I do. But honestly, just let people live and don't make fun of people for doing things and continuing to do things that make them feel comfortable, even if it's not like the normal things that people do. People can be really mean sometimes just because they wanna be mean. And so if you're gonna be mean to me, that in order to feel safe and comfortable and happy, I have to sleep in the same room as my mom, then until I feel comfortable enough and like I won't start crying the second she says goodnight to me in my own room. When I finally feel like I can do that, then I will probably start sleeping in my own room. It might not be for like a few years or anything, or it might be like soon, but I'm just not gonna predict the future. I'm just gonna continue doing things that make me feel comfortable and that make my mom happy and me happy. And if you have a problem with that, you can leave. I just love my mom so much. I feel so attached to her like so, so, so much. And that is why I don't feel comfortable enough to sleep in a different room from her and so I really wanted to tell you guys all of this so I can be as real with you guys as possible. 
Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I really hope that through this video you got to kind of know me better. It's a very sensitive topic for me to talk about, as I said. And so I would really appreciate it, if even if you don't really agree with it, to just be supportive of me. Maybe there really is someone out there watching this video who also shares a room with their parent or is just really attached to something that would make them feel like seriously abandoned if they let it go. So maybe we can relate to each other in the comments down below, but if not, that's totally okay. Just please be supportive of me because this took a lot of guts to post. Before you leave, please like this video and if you made it to the end of this video comment down below safe and comfortable because that is how sharing a room with my mom makes me feel my mom just in general makes me feel so safe and comfortable and as I said earlier I am so grateful and lucky to have you mom if you're watching this video I'm so grateful and lucky to have you and also let me know down below if you enjoyed like a story time from me and if you want to see other story times from me I've actually done some other story times before in the past they're kind of really badly edited because like I uploaded them right when I was starting my YouTube channel and like I don't really count those videos as like actual videos that I posted on this channel just because in my opinion I feel like they were so bad but I will still link them down below and also please subscribe to my YouTube channel that would really mean a lot to me and yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching it and I love you guys bye